Welcome everyone in to another Northamptonshire career mode episode. Today is the County Championship Division 1 fixture against Gloucestershire. So we did not make it to the Challenge Trophy quarterfinals. We ended up not making it because of net run rate. But we'll quickly just go over the fixtures and results. So it was looking good uh, for a while there. And then it just fell apart. So you guys were here for the uh, Warwickshire game and the Lancashire uh, victory. So the next game, we bowled pretty well uh, here. We restricted Worcestershire uh, to 227. Uh, no one really got going for them, and everyone chipped in um, with the ball pretty well, uh, with uh, Meyer for 48 and Gray 3 for 29. 228, 228 for 2 was our response. Saw 88, Thomas 98 night out, and... Uh, that was a pretty dominant display from the openers. Got us home fairly easy. Next game was against Yorkshire. We were rolled for 220. Didn't really get going um, at all. Really struggled. Uh, 5 for 33 for Taylor. And Fisher 3 for 54. But we responded well with the ball. Rolled them for 112 with uh, Meyer 4 for 24. Burtley's 2 for 19. And Jack's 3 for 6. I thought we are going to make it. Uh, and it wasn't meant to be. Uh, this game here, 2 3 8 for 8. Wasn't going to be enough. Eswood, 89. Gunson, 43. Nothing really much else. Need another contribution there to get to 270. Wouldn't have been enough anyway because they batted it string well. Crawley, 139. Uh, dominated the um, proceedings. And that was a pretty disappointing 7 wicket defeat. So we needed to win our last game, and unfortunately we didn't. Nottinghamshire win by four wickets. I thought we posted a monumental score of 296 for six with guns in 95, batting at stream round S with 77 at the top. But a special knock from Moss, 155 off about 112 deliveries. It just meant that they're always in control of this game and effectively we'll show you the table very quickly. We were tied with a couple of teams, but net run rate separated us, and we ended up finishing fourth. Which is pretty disappointing, but nonetheless, we moved on to the county championship. We've had a couple of games uh, since. Uh, played Durham in a draw. They got 411 batting first, 50s through uh, Wythe, Steele, and Page. And Marissa Barney, Daniel, and Bertley's getting three wickets apiece. We respond with 488 for 8 declared. There's a bit of rain around. Crayshaw, the youngster, 151. And Rosenton turning back the clock with 122. And Jack's 88 of 80 deliveries gave us something um, to try and roll them in that second inning. They batted reasonably well, though. 281 for 5. Uh, good solid contributions from all their batsmen with Blakemore. Top scoring with 91. We opted just to settle down. Uh, we needed 204 in one session. We lost the other wicket at and we just knuckled down. Thomas 56 not out and Cranshaw 48 not out. And a very disappointing result against Essex. Uh, they batted first. Reasonably well too, 326 with Lawrence 111 and Clark 86. Daniel 4 for 82 and Jacks 3 for 30. Pick of the bowlers. And we couldn't really muster too much. We had to bat again. 150 all outs. Uh, Thomas the only one putting up any real resistance. Porter, Garrett, and Parkinson, three wickets apiece. In the second innings, we batted a little, little bit better, but like we just didn't do enough, really. Aswood, 76 at the top. And six wickets for Porter in that innings and they only needed 47 and they got there pretty easily so we've played three won one drawn one and lost one at the moment gloucestershire is our opposition we've got Curran back from the uh 2020 20 league in india the ipl and we've got conor mccurr back from injury so there's going to be a few changes to the squad guys you'll be back with the team Here's our team for the game against Gloucestershire today. Thomas and Thor uh, open up uh, Cranshaw and Crayshaw. 
Uh, Anderton got dropped a couple of games ago. His form has not been that good, and Crachel took his chance, so he's got the incumbent spot at four. Glenn at five, Rosenton at six, Jax at seven, Curran eight, Meyer nine. So we've got a long batting lineup today. Connor McCurr back from injury, of course, and Daniel uh, for the team. So hopefully we can bounce back after that disappointing defeat. We've been forced to bowl first. How well will we go? So we started off brilliantly. Got the wicket of Davis. Good start from Daniel up front. Very economical, very tight. Meyer into the attack and Connor McCurr. Connor McCurr, I don't speak too much from him in this first match. Um, back from injury. Just want him to put in a good solid um, bowling effort. Starting to get away on us a little bit. Daniel gets the wicket of Harkness. 76. Meyer back in the attack. Current bowled reasonably well. So we're keeping it tight, but we just can't get that breakthrough. Connor McCurr, the wickets, clean bowled. Seen many of those over the seasons here for our Northamptonshire. Just getting through the spell. Just got to get them part time spinning. Meyer. Bracey out. And Curran in. McCurr. Batted pretty well, to be honest. It's not really getting um, any sort of momentum. Daniel with the wicket. Daniel with another wicket. So here comes the momentum shift. Meyer to Fowler. Rain stop play. Rain's playing havoc in this game. It's just rained out most of day two. Reasonable bat, uh, reasonable bat and display, but a good fight back with the ball. Uh, four for for Daniel and Meyer there, and uh, the good thing is Conor McCurr got two twenty overs of work. I hope he's just pivotal in that next inning. So we're going to have to score at a reasonable rate here, and hope that we can get a good score on the board, and make them bat on the last day. We have to win this probably by an innings. We are going to do it. Good shots. Oh, damn, that's a loss of a key wicket of Anthony Thor, and Cranshaw has found himself dismissed as well. And now the re recovery effort needs to happen. And Thomas put a bit of maturity on his back. He's an experienced player these days. 47 for two. Got a very inexperienced middle water. More rain. Thomas has edged it, and we are in further trouble. 58 for three. Two teenagers at the wickets. And another one falls. This is not looking too good for us at the moment. Glenn is out, retired, hurt, so that's not good news for us. How long is the young youngster out for? Three weeks. Okay. Can we recover from basically 73 for 5? We effectively are. Rain has stopped play. Day 2 was rain affected majorly. What we'll have to do now is try and get to that follow on uh, mark. That will be our first initial goal. Got a long enough batting lineup. Bat basically to McCurr. Even Daniel's um, showing he can bat. The level, but this is a pretty poor um, batting display against the team that is in last uh, place, effectively. Oh, that's not good. Jack's out for 24, so the, the slide continues. He's got to bat some time out of the game. We've just got to try and each our way towards that total. We're not going to. Being absolutely outplayed here. Uh, Connor McCurr uh, has had a few 50s in his time. Would need something special today. Get us out of this um, predicament. Got a lot to think about in the uh, County Championship Division 1. Uh, just a couple of lacklustre performances. We'll 
push us towards the bottom of the table. Don't want to be fighting for relegation. Want to keep cementing our spot in Division 1. Keeping our players playing against the best. Bit of a fight back here, but... Really shouldn't be up to these two to do it. It's already 6 required to avoid the follow-on. I don't think we'll do it, though. 57 for 7. Lovely shot from Curran. Curran's gone for 30 of 33 deliveries. That was a good wee knock from him. 20 to avoid the follow-on. Can we get one more partnership out of these two? Daniel's gone. And we just have about avoided the follow-on. But not a good enough batting effort really. Out for 184 have been asked to follow on so effectively this game is Gloucestershire's for the taking we're gonna have to bat exceptionally well in this innings to um, make sure we get a draw at least out of this game the rain has played a favor for us by raining out basically a session and a half so we need a, at least a day's good batting and get in front by quite a margin that's three disappointing batting efforts in a row, you know. Like, we're a lot better side than that. We have had a pretty good run of it. There's a late. Maybe um, just a case of bringing back some of the experienced players back in the team. Anderton's probably learned his lesson from being dropped, hopefully. And it'd be him getting back into form. And just putting him at four in the batting order just gives us a lot more experience. And, yeah, um, just rotate the youngsters in the other positions and build up them that way. Thomas, a couple away from a 50. And he does. He brings up his 50. Well batted. He needs to um, carry that on, ideally. So this is a good opening stand. T end of all day three. We're 100 without loss. Um, following on after a very disappointing batting effort. shots Thomas has gone for 61 all that hard work and he's just lost it there Crenshaw Anthony Thor brings up his 50 131 for one a lot better in the second innings but still a lot of work to do to just get back um, into credit 42 for one. If we get a 150 200 run lead, we've got the bowling attack. That can um, really cause some damage. It's got to set ourselves up in that position. We've got a, we've got a lead to our credit. Uh, 12 for one effectively. Anthony Thor. Lovely drives down the ground. 181 from one. Gloucestershire really would want the result here to just get themselves out of that relegation zone while we want to consolidate our position in sort of the middle of the table. In the day, we are two down. Moment. Nice. Work that away. This is really good. Just when we needed it. Cranshaw. Thought he'd run someone out then. Dig it in, guys. Dig it in. Lovely shots. Down the ground. Another four. 124 for one. Not a very good shot, but there's no one down there. And it's gone for six. That's not a good shot either. And Cranshaw's gone for 69 of 115 deliveries. I'm pretty pleased uh, with that knock. He's batted some good time out of the game. And our lead is starting to get to a very awkward stage here for the Gloucestershire side. Oh, we bat. Uh, the more time out of the game and the more chances they have to take to get the win. So lovely shot. That brings up 100 for Anthony Thor. His 13th first class 100. He's had a reasonable career uh, for both uh, the Northamptonshire side and England. Great 
good time for Crayshaw just to get a few runs under his belt. Bit of a um, confidence booster. Lovely shots. This is really good. Much better batting effort. 25 or 48 for Crayshaw. Glenn, of course, is injured. Got to make sure we bat at least half the next session. And we should be okay. We should get a draw. I'm not tempted to give them a session to bat. We're just going to bat um, the game out. Unless we get a 250 run lead. Something like that. Rosenton out for 16. Just got to be careful here. Just make sure we bat the majority of the session out. Got no chance. Five down. Got a couple of all-rounders to come in. Lovely shot from Anthony Thor, who's China's class uh, today. Just shots all around the ground. And it's a big 102 that has saved most likely this match. 153. Got a very... Interesting score. I'm very tempted to give them a session. It's the way we play. 55 for 5. Done so much to try and draw this match all the same. Lovely shots from Curran. 130 run lead. I'm going to declare. I'm going to give myself a chance. An outside chance of bowling them out. I don't think we will, but... 14 without loss. The wicket of Harkness. 15 for 1 after 9. This is good tight bowling. They're trying to bat it out. Meyer into the attack. Connor McCurr. <laughs> guys in so in the end it's a draw um gloucester will be the more disappointed side there i felt that they were the better side but we managed to get eight points from the game anthony thor manned the match uh which is a fair um reflection of how we bad in that second innings so that puts us at seventh in the table we're only eight points clear of uh the drop uh pretty much so what we need is a good few performances in the county championship, but we won't be there um, seeing these matches for a while on um, the episodes. Glenn's out for three weeks. Okay, I did check that. Uh, next games we will play will probably be... We'll go Yorkshire and Derbyshire. So we'll play a few 20-over trophy games. Of course, the rest of the county championship games there. And, but we'll see you guys then. Hopefully you enjoy the episode. Give it a like comment on the video uh hopefully you're enjoying the series as much as i am and uh we'll see you again next time